So the number one factor in overcoming skin disease is your diet. Your diet will either allow you to heal or it will keep you covered in eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, and rosacea for the rest of your life. In today's video, I wanna give you guys 20 staple foods to create an eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, or rosacea healing diet around. So with these 20 foods, you can make an absolute diet, a complete diet that's very well-rounded, that focuses on digestion and gut health, that will fix your hormones and will fix your skin. With this, I will just give one kind of caveat side note. These foods are bioavailable foods that are based on amino acids, omega-3s, and easily digestible fiber. I suggest that minimum you keep your grams of carbs daily under 100 grams. Um, if you're looking for more autophagy, for more detoxification and for more healing, lower your grams of carbs to 50 or under. All right, I'm gonna get started with these 20 staple foods for creating an eczema healing diet. So before I get going, these foods are not in any particular order, I, they're just random. So number one, beef. And with beef, what you're looking for is you wanna get pastured, grass-fed beef. Sourcing your animal products is of the utmost important. The food that they eat becomes the fat in their bodies and the protein and fat in their bodies is what we eat. So we want those cows to be eating grass. Number two, eggs. Eggs are really affordable. They're really protein, amino acid rich. They're very cholesterol rich and they're very fat rich. They're very easy to source. They're very easy to, very easy to find. Again, with eggs, they have to be pastured. We want the eggs outdoors, under the sun, foraging for bugs and eating the, the food that chickens are supposed to be eating. Number three, sauerkraut, fermented cabbage. Now, sauerkraut is super easy to find. If you can't find it raw, that's okay. But if you can find it raw, get it raw. Raw sauerkraut is a lot more powerful. Also, you can find, excuse me, you can make raw sauerkraut at home super easy. Two awesome things about sauerkraut, three things awesome about sauerkraut. They have a very easy digestible fiber. The fiber that's in sauerkraut extremely improves, extremely improves the gut microbiome. Also, you have a crazy amount of vitamin C, which is great for the skin and great for the eyes, great for the hair, and a ton of vitamin K2, which is one of the most important nutrients for healing your skin. Number four, we're gonna go with salmon and wild caught fish. There's no better source of omega-3s than salmon and wild caught fish. It's definitely a staple food. Number five, bison. Bison is so similar to beef, it's got a slightly less fat. Um, bison is an animal that has been the same forever. Cows, not so much. They're kind of Frankenstein, they're kind of Franken animals, but buffaloes, they're a wild animal that has been wild and been a buffalo forever. Number six, other forms of wild caught meats. Moose, venison, elk. Those have wonderful protein ratios, they have good amino acid ratios, they have good omega ratios rather, and they are just so clean. Wild animals are eating a perfect diet and their meat is generally really awesome. Seven, tallow, the fat of organs, organ fat. And the fat in between all of the organs is what tallow is. There's also a bit of tallow um, in between kind of like where the protein, excuse me, where the muscle meat um, meets different areas. The tallow is just the fat, the inner fat of the animal you can fry it up, you can chop it up, but tallow is an awesome fat form. I like to use it to cook my meat or cook my meals in. If I'm gonna fry something up or if I need something to lubricate the pan, tallow works awesome. It's also got a great nutrient profile. Number eight, and this is the, one of the newest foods on this staple food chart for me, it's goat yogurt and goat dairy. I don't do the goat milk, I, I just don't, don't do well on any milk products, but the goat yogurt, has been absolute game changing for me. Goat kefir, goat butter, um, awesome, awesome food. So much better and easier to digest than cow. 
If you can find a source of raw goat dairy, that's gonna be your best bet. Number nine, raw local honey. It's filled with antioxidants and it's filled with the right type of antioxidants because they're local. Also, many people on a carnivore style diet or a paleo or a primal or a traditional or a keto approach tend to lose weight fast. And if you're one of those people that are looking to heal your skin, but you're not really trying to lose a ton of weight, the raw honey can provide some carbohydrates for you, which will help you gain weight. If you're struggling on the carnivore diet with energy or with losing too much weight, adding raw local honey can be a game changer. Number 10, and most of you guys will have to find a way to make these foods taste good because for most of you, it just doesn't taste good. I'm getting more used to eating liver the more I eat it, but it still is a little bit rich for me. So I lean more towards brown swagger and liverwurst. So number 10, for my staple foods for healing the skin is liver and organ meats. You just have to get them in. The amount of vitamin C, the vitamin K2, vitamin A, there's so much nutrient density in organ meats that they are just, they can't be avoided. Number 11, celery. Celery juice, celery chopped up and added to some dishes, adds some really good minerals and electrolytes to the body. Also, the the um, celery juice first thing in the morning can really activate autophagy, cleansing and detoxification in both the liver and the kidney and start to flush the lymphatic system, which is ultra important when healing the skin. Number 12, carrots. Now with carrots, you always either want to juice your carrots, which is pretty good, or you wanna cook your carrots. Cooking your carrots or steaming your carrots is by far the best way to get carrots in your body. Carrots are one of the few kind of plants that has a fiber that when you cook it becomes super productive and helpful for the body. Also, the beta carotene is a really good skin nutrient. Number 13, turmeric, 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 turmeric. Eat some turmeric, it's super anti-inflammatory, it fights free radicals in the body, it helps promote an uh, anti-inflammatory lower bowel system, which is ultra important for healing the skin. Your large and small, intestine mixed with your colon will thank you greatly for eating turmeric. Easiest way to do turmeric is just do a daily turmeric lemonade. And I do have several videos explaining how to do that. Number 14, and I gave you number 14, and that's a six, ginger. So ginger, again, like the turmeric, it's one of the most powerful little foods that you can eat on a micronutrient level. It is a powerful, detoxifier for the blood and for the skin. Mixing cilantro with lemon and ginger is the ultimate heavy metal blood cleansing tonic. Number 15, apples and pears. Out of the fruit world, they are pretty darn good. Filled with lots of vitamins and minerals, low glycemic index, fiber that's digestible, if you are struggling, again, for those of you who are looking for carbs on a carnivore diet or a keto diet, apples and pears are good ones. Most people don't have any issues with them and they supply the body with a very easily digestible micro mineral content. Number 16, squash and pumpkins. Acorn squash, spaghetti squash, those little delicious pumpkins. Squash provides, again, digestible fiber. So you're gonna hear that from me a lot in this video because many of the issues that come from trigger foods in the plant kingdoms, too much anti-nutrients, too much undigestible fiber, too many things like tannins, lectins, salicylates, there's many, many defense mechanisms in the plant kingdom. So picking the proper plants and keeping them limited to a very select few is ultra important when you're trying to heal your gut and heal your skin long-term forever. Lettuce, and when I mean lettuce, I mean straight up lettuce, not kale, not collard greens, not that fibery stuff that will jack you up. I'm talking lettuce, romaine, iceberg, green leaf, red leaf, butter, lettuce. Lettuce varieties work generally awesome for most people. Here's a telltale with lettuce. If you eat a salad or if you eat lettuce and you are pooping it out, in its complete form, then lettuce doesn't work for you. But if you can eat lettuce and you can digest it and you poop it out and it doesn't really look like lettuce, then it's awesome. Lettuce is gonna be great juiced. 
I would prefer you guys to be juicing your lettuce rather than making salads. That takes away all the fibery weirdness that could be associated with it and allows the green juice to be digested with super, super, super no challenge and it allows you to get a focused, concentrated green juice magic in your system. Very anti-inflammatory for most people. Number 18, berries. And now with berries, some people do have to have some experimentation. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries are not created equal. Most people won't digest blueberries the same as they do blackberries. If you notice the way they look, blueberries don't really have any seeds. It's just a berry with a skin. Whereas raspberries and strawberries, they have those little seeds. If you're having issues with berries, take away berries with seeds first and focus on blueberries. Um, generally though, berries work good. All berries across the board tend to be perfectly fine. And number 19, lemon. And not so much lime and not so much other citrus fruits, but lemon in small amounts used as a salad dressing, as a flavoring, or just squeeze it into your water in the morning, add some turmeric, mix it around, drink it up, and allow your liver and your kidneys and your lymphatic system and your full body to have a nice flush in the morning. Lemons are perfect for cleansing and detoxification first thing in the morning. And number 20, and this is my last food on my staple food list, cucumbers. Cucumbers are awesome because they taste really good. They're light, you can juice them, you can eat them raw, you can add them to salads. They're super high with their water content, easily digestible fiber, and they're awesome for replacing your electrolytes and allowing your body to be fully saturated with water and be lubricated and be juicy and be wonderfully electric. So that's the list of 20 staple foods. You can literally make an entire diet that will heal your skin based on these foods, along with some cleansing and detoxification, along with some lifestyle modifications, and you'll be well on your way to healthy, clear skin for the rest of your life. I wish you luck, enjoy these foods. One last note, and this might be contradictory to most of what you guys have heard out there before, but this is what really works and this will make these foods even better. With the animal products, you wanna to try to get those into your body as often as you can raw. So if you can find some raw beef, raw eggs, raw salmon, and raw goat dairy, that is going to be awesome. Now, with the vegetables, it's mostly gonna be the opposite. With fruit, you wanna eat that raw. With, with things like celery and lettuce, you wanna juice that but things like carrots and squash and most of the other vegetables that you're gonna eat, you wanna steam those or bake them until they're soft and a lot more easy to digest. That will improve the bioavailability of them, it will improve the fiber, and it will actually make new nutrients more bioavailable. Carrots are one that's a great example. When you cook carrots the right way, when you steam them, the beta carotene, the pre-nutrient for vitamin A becomes way more assimilated and way more easily digestible for humans. Um, so pay attention, eat some of your meat raw, eat some of your meat cooked, eat some of your veggies raw, eat some of your veggies cooked, know which ones to cook and which ones to eat raw, and you'll be well on your way to some pretty, pretty skin. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and share. Don't forget to hit that notification bell button. For those of you looking to get a hold of me to become a private client, there's a link in the description box for a consultation. Also, all of my skin health offerings are at holistichealthactivation.com. What I would focus on is the three phases workbook. That's the step-by-step -step guide for healing the skin. Um, other social media stuff, you can find me at the Instagram as Stuart Rob Stewart. In real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. That's the name my parents gave me. That's the name I'm going to stick with at least for the next six months. Much love. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.